The Illinois app is available now on Apple and Google Play Store. Download the app, get the latest news, stream our podcasts, watch interviews, and listen to Illinois Radio Live. Download the app right now. Yo, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to Illinois Radio, the most dopest thing that hit the streets since crack cocaine, man. I'm Illinois Jones, and I just want to tell y'all, we thank you, we appreciate you, so we would love for you to do us three big favors. One. Download the app. Bam. Two, subscribe to us on YouTube. Bam, bam. Three, tell your mama and all her friends. Bang bang. That's bang, all we ask for. No, How you apps. doing? <laughs> 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 well, what's happening? In? I shoot shots like Reggie Miller. Uh, what's up, man? What's happening, man? Look, he don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> he don't happy. Know I'm, I'm really happy to be back on air, man. For all you artists up there, man, hit me up. Hit Biko up. Hit Pretty Ride up. Let us know you got good music. Also, make sure y'all. Go through Illinois, the app, or the website, and scroll and click on some of them reviews. Holler at us. Get at us. Scream at me. I just got my cup but pretty, Jack. It's about to get Nigga, real. drink that. <laughs> oh, okay, bars. bars. I see that. Bars. But uh, it's, it's been a while, man. Like It, it feel good to be back. Um, it feel real good to be it back. It feels great. I miss y'all. You know? I miss y'all, too. What's something, what's something that... Let me see. How can I? I, I want to say like, what's something you taught yourself that you didn't know? Mm. You know what I mean? Over over these few weeks, what's something that you didn't know uh, that you taught yourself, ooh. or you got better at? I would say something better because some I got better at is honestly um, radio. Uh, I got better at controlling the board. I got better at uh, being a, a better host. I got better at. Um, just the ins and outs of radio and understanding broadcasting. So that's something I feel that I've gotten better at over time. I mean, I've had help. Don't get me wrong. Uh, shout out to my radio mom. Shout out to Sylvia. Uh, Miss R- uh, Rivera, she's been putting in work. Shout out to y'all. Jones, Pretty Rye. Like, I've been learning from everybody, and I feel like I've gotten better uh, at, at really understanding what's needed within broadcasting. Uh, what you what you feel like you got better at? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I feel like I've just been getting better at content creating in general um, and just planning out my ideas um, and being quiet about what I'm working on. <laughs> Same. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd be so excited when I'm working on something and I see, like, how it's going to come out to play that I'd be ready to just tell the world. I learned to shut up. <laughs> Until it just happened. You know what I'm saying? And, like, only give, you know, the necessary information. So... Because this was a big secret to keep. Mm-hmm. This yeah, it was. Is a huge, it was. I want to talk about this the moment you signed the lease. I was wanting to tell everybody. I'm like, you know, be quiet. Cause just <laughs> yeah. wait. I feel Look, like, I feel I like wanted, we did a good job. We take did a, a picture good job. of the lease when I signed <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. I was going to. Look, I, look, I don't care what nobody say. If this isolation wouldn't have happened, I promise y'all. I still be in the house because there's so much money into this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, ain't no days, baby. We eat oodles and noodles. We finna kick it in the house. Ain't this was perfect time. Look, this was a perfect time for this to happen because I can't go outside anyway. So it was like, you know, that's what's up, though. But uh, what I, I learned, I learned how to create and then also take like criticism mm. from it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Oh, that's good, John. I learned how to take. I learned how to. Cause I do something and work on it, and somebody would be like, "I don't like this part, this part." I had to teach myself how to just fix that little part instead of thinking, or just seeking the whole, or just thing. deleting the whole thing and starting over from scratch and fixing that one part. But then you have a whole another mess because it's like all like that. So just taking my time with shit. You feel me? Yeah, you got to take the criticism. I ain't gonna lie, I've been receiving criticism um, all the time. I mean, we always receive uh, yeah, criticism, always but it's a criticism. different. It's different when, like, like when you're Illinois, working on something. Like, like it's like this shit. Like, this shit has to be right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I like we we either gonna hit a grounder or a home run. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with a grounder, but you know if you hit I'm a home, home run, run you, it's, it's out the park. It's, it's out the park. So I prefer to hit a. Home run every time. I f- yeah, I, f- I fucks with that analogy. Yeah, I like, like that Jones. too. Jones, Jones always be Jones, serving you been writing too? Hey, yo, this nigga Pico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait because I want to know. Yo, <laughs> so like me and Pico, I be up late. 
I feel like we all be up late. So, you know, if I do anything like creating commercials or whatever, I shoot it to Biko before I put it in the system. And I send it to him to see if he like it. So, I sent him this one joint. The four, was it the 411 joint? It was. No, 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 no. It was the. Uh, we it, coming the we coming back joint. Yeah, we coming back joint. And it was filled with a bunch of like chop ups. Yeah. yeah. Like, so he gonna say he gonna say, "Damn, bro, you like the Bumblebee radio." <laughs> The Transformer movie. Yeah, how I used it to talk like it was like coming back on Saturdays. I chopped it up, and he like, oh, you just use all those clips to have a conversation. <laughs> you like the you like the radio bumblebee. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this nigga high. <laughs> this nigga high. I, I, then, and then I say, he say, I say, I laugh. He say, nah, nigga, for real, you the bumblebee of radio, bro. Look, you had yeah. a whole conversation with the with the clips, he, different he clips, did. like he. So let me let me explain. <laughs> so Jones, you know he's he, he's super creative, and he created our commercial, one of the commercials that's in rotation. It's all clips, like audio bites. There's no no human, you know, mm-hmm. vo- uh, vocals. It's all like audio bites that he found from movies or just clips, and he put it all together. How do Bumblebee talk through the, through his radio? I was I, I was uh, off the of broccoli at the time. <laughs> he he didn't want to say that for look. You ain't gonna catch that for he gonna bloop that out. So if you listen to live, you gonna get it. But if you ain't listen to live, it's not gonna be in the podcast. I, I was off my veggies, you know, feeling real. Uh, I was off the spinach, was the Popeye spinach, and was um, and that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, yo, this man really just made this commercial from stray audio bites and. To me, that's super creative, man. Oh, I appreciate so, that's it. that appreciate DJ it. producer. I appreciate like, it. He's the type of person that, okay, say for instance, you know, an artist pass, and now the engineer got to find like the music to put together a song. Jones could do that. He could put together old songs, or, or I'm going to say unreleased songs. He could chop up artist stuff and put it all together to make it a complete song. That's the type of talent he has. Appreciate that. That's so, some real nigga talk. That almost some, made me cry over look, here. That's some bumblebee shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so look, right before like, my last question is, since we finna end up off, what's now that we have our own station mm-hmm. and we get to play music twenty four seven, we get to pretty much do what we want here because we have our own headquarters. What does this mean to the culture, and how mm-hmm. do you feel it's going to impact the culture? First, let's start off with Pretty Ride. You're good. So I think that now that we have our own station and, like, complete control, I think it's honestly what's been missing. Like, we've already been what's been missing, but I think now it's, like, it's really solid because we really have created a platform now where 24-7 you could really tune in and chances are you're going to be hearing a Chicago artist. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, we're going to give these DJs their chance to get their mixes off, but still and then, that's still Chicago. And I think that's really what it is. Like, we the missing link. We've been the missing link. Anybody who hear that and you mad about it, I don't care. I said what I said. It's like the, It's facts. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no other station in the city that caters to the city how we do in the manner that we do. And I think that now that we have our own space and, like, we'll really just allow full 100% creativity, you know, like... It's a lot of stuff that we probably... We've talked about for a very long time that now we could really put into action. So that's how I feel. Yeah. It's the it's what the city been missing. Girl, you so well spoken. Hey, oh, that girl's smart. That's, that's, that's the that, poet in me. That girl Jeez. smart. Right. That girl went to them good schools. Yeah, oh God, SRU, She's like, I don't know about it. Like, you, but I paid some good money. <laughs> look, look, your high school was good though. Oh yes, I went to Gwendolyn Brooks. Yeah, get, Gw- Gwendolyn Academy. Brooks. Shout out to her. Yeah, I want go ahead, Jones. Let 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 the let the people know. You ain't gonna skip to me. No, no, we gonna go to you. We going like this. All right, fine. So, what was the question again? <laughs> The Can pr- you please repeat the yeah, question? The that pretty, was my pageant. Uh, that was the pageant oh in me. It was uh, since we have our own. Since we have our own platform, how do you feel it would change the culture and what it is that you feel like we're going to do? So, thank you. <laughs> Got it. Something so, like first that. and foremost, we've already changed the culture. culture. True. We've already shifted it. I've been preaching that I would like for us, you know, Illinois Radio started to shift the culture. Illinois started to shift the culture. We've done that. Um, And, you know, with me knowing that we've done that, it's dope because now, since we have our own headquarters, our own spot, it's going to really show people how creative we are. On top of that, it's going to teach other stations um, what's missing. 
So again, we're going to continue to shift the culture because we're we're continuing to teach others what the void is. Some people don't know what that void is in radio because they go by the old, um, you know, that old ish, the old structure, you know, the old format. But we're coming up. We all been through a struggle. Right. We all know okay. uh, what <clears throat> creatives look for. We all know what artists look for. I'm an artist at heart. I know what artists you know look for. Jones, you a host at heart. You know, you a DJ. Producer, we all got some within us that we see the void. So, um, with us having our own, we are going to we, we're going to continue to cater uh, to broadcasting. Like I said, a lot of stations do look. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say too much detail, but I will say you know people watch, people watch, and at the same time, people are watching to learn. So I don't take that as a negative. Uh, feel at least people are watching and people want to watch to learn more and I feel like we're that platform that's teaching um, how you can expand and what's missing so that's what I feel like it's going to bring us you know with us having our own space is going to bring us a lot more creativity and more doors is going to open too more doors not just for us but for, for, everybody. for everybody we've already been opening doors right. we've been doing that so now bigger doors is going to open because more opportunities is going to come from what we're doing True. So, okay, your turn. Uh, can you ask me that same question, <laughs> bro? I, I don't even. I have okay, to ask I think, you to repeat so, your question. Um, I think the question was because um, I forgot it. I'm on my third so couple, was, couple of pretty jack. Go ahead, pretty right. I think the question was Illinois Jones. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the pretty jack talking. Um, so the question was, I believe, because I can't do it verbatim because I've had probably more cups of pretty jack than they did. <laughs> but you said something along the lines of, now that we have our own station, what do you think it's going to do for the culture? Yes. Oh. Okay. So I feel like um, for for us to have our own our own office space, our own station, it will give us the reach that we didn't have before. You know what I mean? I feel like we can actually reach out to other cities, not just Chicago. Mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. now artists in Chicago will respect it more, too, because now they know we're not playing. They Everybody knows we're it's not playing. It's put on their next season. You know what I mean? Like even, even, even the no disrespect to the other stations or the other media outlets, but it's not a lot of people that's leading how we're leading. You know what I mean? We actually out here shaking hands. With artists, we do the groundwork, and to actually have this, it's a celebration not just for us, but for everybody who's been through here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Everybody who's been a part of the mm-hmm. Illinois to actually come through and be like, "Damn, bro, them finally got their shit." They know when we get our shit, they yeah. they, they gonna get heard twenty four seven. We got rotation. That's music. They always always gonna be played. We have that type of power, so it's always gonna be Chicago music being played. You feel me? Chicago music, underground music, no matter where you at, you're going to have, we're going to have that reach. And I feel like with us leading the culture, it's only going to make other people work harder outside of us. And it's going to, it's going to push the culture forward. That's just me. Can I say one more thing before we end? So you asked the question earlier, like, you know, what did we learn during this quarantine? And, like, I was thinking about this the other day because I was thinking about, okay, like, dang, we finna have the show Saturday. Well, this was really what I was doing last week's episode of Two Pretty Pennies. And I talked about, I don't know if y'all saw it, but um, it was about, you know, like, the law of attraction and pretty much manifestation. And, like, being with you guys, like... I'm going to get a little emotional. I'm sorry. I'm not going to cry. But, like, being with you guys, like, I really learned that you could really, like, work towards something. You know what I'm saying? To, like, really manifest something. Like, think about how many times we sat and just said, like, we want our own space. You know, we want this. We want that. And look how we attracted that. Look at how we manifested that. So, like, I think that, like, that's something that... I think really kind of set in when set in for me over this this quarantine was like, damn, you could really do anything you put your mind to, and like, I want anybody who listening, anybody who watching to know, like, whatever that idea is in your head, go do that shit. Like, don't hesitate, don't don't doubt yourself. Like, go put in the work to do it because if you don't, you probably sleeping on a million dollar idea, or you probably sleeping on something that could change your life. Like. This is something that is changing our lives. Yeah. And all we had to do was put the work in. So yep. it's literally as simple as that. You have to take risks. You, you got to. to. It's, a, it's a risk to you be You got to jump off the porch. Because we could have <laughs> easily would have been like, nah, we just going to follow the, and then been doing that, and I got this. 
You feel me? I think with us, we know we have a team. If I fall, if I fall a tw- tweak, I know Biko gonna be right there to be like, "No, nah, bro, come on, help get me up. back up, help me back up." Amen. And the same for all of us, all of us, from Jay to Jimmy to first class, we all have that push for each other. We're not gonna let nobody lack on their shit. You feel me? Shit. Raw ruler Mike, Mike D, D right. we, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's what I'm saying Even when We all got group messages We all in the group messages We stayed Alright let's do this Let's do that This is what we're doing This is how we gotta do this We need everybody to push this We need everybody to retweet this You feel me That was still going on During this whole quarantine Somebody yep. would post yo, I need to, Can y'all all go back And retweet this You mm-hmm. feel me And mm-hmm. it was a push It's a I think One thing about it One thing about us That I learned over this And getting this space is Teamwork make the dream work, and you can actually see it and feel it. You feel me? We came together. We put our ones and twos together to get this, to get every piece of this. You feel me? And shit, motherfuckers swiping them cards. <laughs> swiping them cards. <laughs> swiping them cards. <laughs> it was look. <laughs> you be at the register sweating like, oh, no, we might get declined. We might not be cool. <laughs> But let's see. But hold on. By let's, the grace of God, right. indeed. You gotta blow it like a cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, the cars was getting swiped, boy. The damn that swiped the black off the strip. I tell you that much. Hey, but, 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 but you know, you know, you swiping too much when your car be like, hey, y'all got a fraud count going hey, on. You be, like, you be like, nah, that was me. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Sometimes you be like, shit, if I could walk out the store with it, I'm gonna say, no, nah, that wasn't me. You <laughs> Hey, that's fact though, know, but that's you just let people know the work ethic that went in, like through what Look. this we going on our third year, right? Yeah. yeah. Throughout two and a half years, I'm gonna say we've been putting together, you know, what we can and, and just doing what we can as a team. And like you said, we manifested our biggest, you know, goal. One of our biggest goals Because it's bigger than this Look, Bigo, <laughs> look I'm telling y'all G Like it was crazy Because One week Bigo be like Shit I'm, I am I splurged last week I'm shit Chicken sandwiches on me Swipe <laughs> And then that's the You know I'll be a week later Shit bro Those shits got me He fuck it Chicken sandwiches on me <laughs> We ain't get no fries No drinks Just chicken sandwiches <laughs> Just chicken We chicken sandwiches Get the fuck out <laughs> So hey that's That's facts Like it, it, it takes it, it takes for uh, for you and the individual to understand that work ethic is key. Don't give up, and most importantly, you got to invest in yourself. Yeah. If you're not investing in yourself, you nobody you're will. not. Yeah, nobody's gonna be willing to invest and support what you have planned. So uh, that's 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 a, a huge key. Uh, as you all see, I mean, in film, you see the investment we've been we've put in, and it's so much more to go. So, uh, I mean, yeah, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, tuning in with us. Uh, y'all see what y'all support has done for us, and um, yeah, I mean, that's that's key. Any uh, last words, Pretty Rod? Any last words, Jones? Can I Jones? say something really quick? I go know ahead. it's kind of sad, but um, this past week I lost a really good friend. Unfortunately, his name was Antoine. Um, unfortunately, lost his life to violence. And I don't know, like, he was a person that really, I watched, like, manifest a lot of things. So, just live life, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, during this whole time of this quarantine, like, the shit that's going on, like, spread love and positivity. Whatever beef you got with somebody, like, this shit is not worth it. Like, life right now is something that's so, like, it's here today and gone tomorrow, but it's so, it's so sensitive right now. So, we shouldn't be losing lives, you know, right? Like, it was a day where, like, 21 people got shot. Seven people was killed. Like, that shouldn't be going on right now when there's a deadly virus that's wiping more people. It's wiping us out. And I say us as in black people. Like, we, we kind of, at the end of the day, we got to put, you know, this bullshit to the side and just spread love and light because, I don't know, I don't like hearing about stuff like that. You know, like, gun violence is never anything we want to hear about. But, like, in a time like this, that's the last thing we need to hear. So, rest in peace, my homie. Stay out last in the house. Yeah, that's all I got. Jones for Jones. Uh, I just want to let people know that you feel me. You 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 get what you put in, and whatever you put into this shit, whatever your dreams is, put it all into it. You are gonna miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, you feel me. And you have you got one life to live. Do everything you can because mm-hmm. you don't want to wait till you sixty, fifty, and be like. I should have did this. I should have did that. Do it now. Worry about the consequences. You got all this time to fuck up. You got time to fuck up. But 
you only fail when you don't get back up. You feel me? And that's my thing, man. I want everybody to make sure y'all stay in tune with us. Hit us up. Hit me up, Illinois Jones 88. You feel me? On Instagram and Twitter. Are we signing off? Because I'm signing off. Yeah. Oh, damn. I ain't getting on uh, social media. Yeah. yeah. No, we're going to bring it back to you. Oh, no, well, shit. Off. Go ahead. You say the last words and we bring that shit back. Oh, well, damn. I wasn't ready for that. But I, got I, you. I do it. I'll say the last words. You know, well, this is your boy, Biko. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. Uh, I mean, some last words I would say is again, Everything that we do wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you all. Your support means everything. Um, <clears throat> as you all know, we don't charge for music to be played on our show. We don't charge for the interviews. We don't do none of that. It's all love. If you would like to continue to support and further your support, you can definitely donate to us. You can head over to Illinois.co backslash donate. Um, your donation will go towards, of course, what we're building, uh, more opportunities for our Artists any sense you need So please If you do have Extra funds Definitely a dollar To whatever you have Help us out Donate again That's Illinois.co Backslash Donate And again I mean we, we wouldn't be here Without you all Y'all make this possible